Welcome back to Trinity Coffee Break. I'm so excited about our guest today. We have literally, uh, I mean, we've got the girl who helped raise our children with us in Nashville, Tennessee. Yep. And we lived there for about six years and had a great youth ministry and a great church. And uh, you and your best friend. I mean, I, I literally think when we moved into an apartment yep. there, the uh, you and your day. best friend, the first day we're babysitting our kids. While and we're moving in. Yep. Yeah, watching yep. our children, McKenna and Parker. And so we're so grateful. And so we have the great, Drumble. the one and only Katie Hurst Katie with us today. I mean, come on, somebody, right? And so it's so good to have you, Katie. Yeah. And we're grateful for your friendship. We're grateful for your investment. We met you when you were a ninth grader, or yeah. eighth grader. I think it was Going eighth grade. into that summer, yeah. yeah. And I remember that first night you and Michaela babysat for our kids and to try and get them to go to bed that night. You told them Santa was coming that night, and this <laughs> was like in July. <laughs> and, and they believed um, you. They believed you and went to bed, but McKenna was like, I don't know. Oh, if Santa really coming, I mean, they were like four and three. Our kids were so little, and you did. You and Michaela was so not right the best babysitter. Right then, we knew you'd be a great hey. babysitter because you'll just yeah. lie to our, our kids children. Love you. Yeah, yeah, just do whatever it's it takes. Yeah. yeah, we were like new youth pastor. Let's lie to their kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's really great. No, but you have been a sweet part of our family yeah. for so long and so dear to us and our kids. So we're honored to have you today. And really, your whole family your mom and dad, Mike yeah. and Angie, uh, your brother okay. Caleb. I mean, y'all are just, you're an amazing family. And so mm -hmm. I'm excited to kind of jump into this interview today. Yeah. So Katie, uh, now, I mean, you're you're out <laughs> traveling the world. You're big doing, time. <laughs> you're writing music. Wow. You're playing the Nashville scene. You're doing a lot of Christian music <clears throat> and you're doing a lot of songwriting. I mean, you're, you're like in the thick of it, but let's rewind all the way back to the mm -hmm. early days. Yeah, uh, early days. <laughs> why don't you tell us like, how did it all start? When did you give your life to the Lord? Uh, yeah. kind of your, your journey, the teenage years, just a brief version of it. Yeah. Um, so I gave my life to the Lord when I was eight yeah. and I was in third grade. Um, I went to a Christian school and yeah. so I just was like sitting in class. We weren't talking about the Bible though. My teacher was talking about math, thinks you're teaching math. And I had just, gr I had grown up in church. My parents worked yeah. at the church. And so I had heard about Jesus and I just was like, ADD, not paying attention in math <laughs> class, and I was just thinking about, I was just like, I want to, I want to know Jesus, and so um, in the middle of class, I just raised my hand, and I was, and Miss Demers was my <laughs> teacher, awesome. and I was like, Miss Demers, I want to know Jesus, <laughs> and she stopped the class, awesome. and she took me outside, and um, oh, she so talked cool. with me, and like made me pray, which I was like. What I have, yeah. you know, I have to pray, and yeah. um, but I vividly remember that, and I remember like that's the day that I started my relationship with God, yeah, and that's awesome. Um, and obviously, it's been you know like a long journey since then of actually like getting to know Him and like getting to love reading the Word. Mm -hmm. But that's where it started, um, and. You know, then when I grew up in middle school and high school, I was just like the shyest person you would ever meet. <laughs> like, so I'm a totally shy. different person now. It's so funny because I. Well, just, I remember. I remember yeah. we met you in eighth grade, and Jennifer and I always we were so grateful the Lord sent you and Michaela, your best friend, mm -hmm. um, to kind of journey with our children and to be not just babysitters to our kids, but mentors to our kids. Yeah. And y'all were amazing at that because of the way you lived your lives. <laughs> And you truly lived out the gospel. And you're just you, that's for sure. Anybody <laughs> knows Katie Hurst just knows this is Katie, right? Uh, but early on, you were shy. And I remember one time I said, because your dad's a phenomenal musician, mm -hmm. incredible singer. I mean, right, it's Mike Hurst, right? <laughs> I mean, it's like y'all are legends. Uh, and I thought, man, surely, mm -hmm. surely Katie can sing. And I remember asking you, and you're like, I am not going like, on nope. stage. You're I like, I'm not, not going doing this stage. in my bedroom. Definitely I don't do this not. in front of people. Yeah. yeah. No, and then I remember pushing you to, to oh, really like step on that stage. Me. I was so, I was yeah. mortified. That and first Wednesday night. I mean, like shaking. Like I, <laughs> I played guitar and like my hands were sweating. I could barely play the chords. And you know, I'm just like standing like a stick and I'm like <laughs> seriously so, I never, I barely even opened my mouth. Like I was just singing like with a closed mouth. So I was yeah. so nervous. Um, and, and you know, honestly, had it not been for that, like I don't know that I would have had the mm -hmm. courage to like actually say I want to I want to sing in front of people myself like it took mm -hmm. you know you and then like I had a mentor yep. that um, her name was Haley and she was one of the worship leaders on yeah. our team at the time and had I not had like leaders in my life encouraging me like hey we yeah. see something in you that like you don't see in yourself yep. yet right. um, I don't know that I would like be where I am now so yeah. it's awesome. really a great truth for a lot of people speak life into yeah. people and, and speak breathe, what you see into people. yeah speak mm -hmm. it speak what you see into them and we saw that in you I remember your dad coming to me 
the Wednesday night, your first Wednesday night leading worship in Long Hollow Student Ministry. <laughs> uh, I think you were leading for both middle school and high school, probably around seven, 800 kids that night. And you, uh, your dad came up to me and just goes, thank you. Thanks for pushing her. Thanks <laughs> yeah, for pushing her. He was so proud of you. And I know today, uh, wow, I mean, how the Lord yeah. has transitioned that. Uh, you felt called to really step into this journey. You went to Liberty and then stepped mm-hmm. out and really stepped into this journey of music. Now you've got a song with over a million downloads. You've Sad got your own label. label. Yeah. You've, I mean, so walk us through some of that journey, stepping in, getting yeah. a label, yeah. writing music. What's it like? Um, it's so crazy because I just never, like, it, if you ever think that, like, God can't do something with you, like, mm. you're wrong. Because yeah, I would have, I mean, in high school, I, if you would have told me that one day I'd be, like, traveling and singing, I would have been like, no, you're crazy. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to get up in front of people. Yeah. Um, but, like, God just, you know, every little step, like, made a huge difference. And yeah. he had a different plan. But um, in high school, I, you know, kind of after I started singing um, every just every week in youth mm-hmm. group and stuff, that kind of like, that's where God grew my love for yeah. music and specifically for music that like preached the gospel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I started writing songs and not all of them were like specifically Christian songs, but yeah. I would do a little bit of both, just sit in my room and just like I had a song journal. I would write like four songs a day yeah. and I just love songwriting. And so when I went to, I went to Belmont for a year in Nashville mm-hmm. And um, I really like my love for music kind of just was squashed because at Belmont, everybody's a musician. Everybody <laughs> yeah. writes songs. And everybody's super pursuing. talented. Yeah, yeah and crazy. I'm not competitive. And so I was just like, okay, you guys can do that. Y'all and do like, that, I'll just kind of fade into the background. But then I transferred schools to Liberty University. Mm-hmm. And um, that's really where God, God called me specifically. It was like, hey, I want you to write yeah. songs and I want those mm-hmm. songs to point people to the gospel. Yeah, and so on. I was like, okay. <laughs> so. So I just, I started doing that. I started leading worship more at school. And, um, you know, I actually, I didn't finish college and I'm not promoting this to anybody. I think everybody (laughs) should finish college. But for me specifically, I was paying for college on my own. Um, My parents were helping me, like, it was kind of a, we were both trying to pay for it. But I really, like, I, my last year, uh, my junior year, I finished it and I moved to Nashville, or I moved back to Nashville for a summer for an internship at a record label, not the one I'm on now, but um, but I was there and I was doing all this work for other artists and I just felt like God was like, hey, like I don't want you to be the one doing the work for other mm. artists, like I want you to be the artist. Yeah. Um, and so I just prayed about it that summer and I prayed about like, okay, God, so if like this money that I'm using to pay for school, should I use that to start putting my own music out there and like paying a, a producer to help me get it out there? Mm-hmm. And I felt like that's, what he was like, take the money that you would have used for school mm-hmm. this last year at Liberty and just use that to pay um, a producer. And so I was so scared to ask my parents, like, if that was okay. Because, <laughs> you know, they've spent money on my school. Sure. I've yeah. spent money on my school. And, um, right. But they were like, surprisingly, they were like, hey, like, we trust you have a relationship mm-hmm. with God. And so if that's where he's leading you, then we're behind you 100%. Um, so I did that. I just dropped out of school and I, I put out three songs with my friend Cody, Cody mm-hmm. Fry, and um, he just kind of helped me. Like, yep. I, mm-hmm. you know, these songs that I had written in my bedroom, I would bring them to him and he like <laughs> made them better. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, Super talented guy. Great guy yes, to look up as well. Yeah, he's amazing. And um, and, oh, and his wife, actually, Haley, is the one who was my mentor in high school. Yep. Um, and so they're, they've been like a really crucial part of yep. my life. But um, but yeah, so we put out three songs without a record label or anything, and that's kind of how the record label thing started. They heard one of the songs, and um, they wanted to meet with me, and I was just like floored. I'm like, It's amazing oh, how the Lord just shined His favor yeah. on yeah. your obedience. You, yeah. you stepped out and took a risk and did what God called you to do, mm-hmm. and the Lord just kind of said, I want to bless you, Katie. Mm-hmm. And well-deserving, by the way. Well, and the thing I love is I remember you calling me one time saying that you were just being patient and you were praying for just the right. You didn't want to just sign with a label. You wanted it to be the right one that the Lord led you to and that, you know, you could be you and do what God's calling you to do. And so I just love that, just your patience. Like you weren't just so eager to take the first offer or the first people that reached out to you, but you were just so Mm -hmm. patient to trust the Lord through that process. And that was just a cool thing to watch and to see how God has honored your faithfulness. Pretty amazing. You know, one, so speaking about patience, about you. So I'm going to talk one more topic. I know I'm going a little long. (laughs) Y'all forgive me. It's my fault. Uh, One more talk, but I want you to speak into young ladies. You're Mm -hmm. 25, 24, Mm -hmm. 25, 25 years old. I can't either. Um, 
but you've really honored the Lord with your life the best way you can. I mean, you're not perfect, right? But the best way you can. And you followed your convictions. But one thing we've always admired about you is you didn't fool around with boys. Yeah. Now today, the Lord's, yeah. uh, you've, you've got a great young man that, that you are dating and his name's Parker, mm -hmm. uh, not our son Parker. <laughs> uh, but you got a great young man that, that you're dating wow. named Parker, which is pretty special. And, and we're grateful the Lord's brought him into your life. Mm -hmm. But you really didn't hardly fool with any boys along no. the way. And so yeah. let me just ask this question just to breathe in to young ladies, to breathe in to college girls. Well, just some of your process. What, what would a word be that you would have for young girls out there as yeah. kind of the process of dating? Because we really admire the way you've done it along the years. Well, honestly, I mean, it has a lot to do with like you guys and other leaders in my life just always always reminding me like hey there are standards like don't yeah. just date anybody like yeah. have standards for you know whoever you're gonna date and I would say like to you know any girl like middle high school college girls like don't just date just to date yeah. um, like don't yeah. have a relationship just because you feel like everyone else around you has one and so yeah. to feel validated you need one too because um, that's where you get yourself in trouble. <laughs> and, yeah, that's good. Um, you know, and you guys remember, I like I went on a date with a guy. Yep, Todd yep. was like kind of had a thing, and you know, the Lord very quickly, like after a month, was like, "Hey, he he is this is not good." Yeah. Um, and so you know, throughout high school, I was just like, God, I don't want to date someone mm. if me. Like I, the only reason I want to date someone is if me being with them brings more glory to you than yeah, that's good. Um, than it you know than I would if I was just by myself and single. Right. And so, yeah, so I just like, I don't know, don't, don't fool around with guys who don't love the Lord and who don't, like, don't just, they don't say that they love the Lord, but they actually do with their lives. Yeah. I think there's a big difference. Yeah. yeah. What just, a great word. Yeah, you've just always loved Jesus and been faithful to pursue him. And that was always your top priority. And that's just evident, I think, in how you've lived your life and how God has brought Parker into your life. So, yeah, it's pretty special. Yeah, it's a really cool thing to watch through the years just to see you grow and just chase after Jesus and yeah. just his faithfulness to you in the journey. All right, let's talk how people can follow you because I think everybody watching <laughs> yes. ought to download you. I think they ought to download your music. I no, think, I mean, right you. now, I think they ought to just hit pause and download. <laughs> but because your parents are so hip, they change the way they spell Katie, yes. right? I mean, that's Mike and Angie. They're amazing. And so we love yeah. you, Mike and Angie. We know they're going to watch us, right? So how, tell them how to look up your name, how to spell your name on Spotify, on iTunes. How do we look up Katie Hurst and download today? Yeah, so it's Katie Hurst with a C and two I's and Hurst, H-U-R-S-T. And I'm on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, every, pretty much everywhere you would get your music. Awesome. Well, I really encourage everybody, really lock in and have the opportunity to download that on Spotify or music or wherever you get your music to to download Katie Hurst. It is Thank such you. an encouraging music. We love it. We always download. Awesome. You released Thank a new so song much. yesterday. yesterday. Our, this is going to be aired on Thursday. Forgive me on that. So you released a new song on <laughs> during the mm -hmm. Friday this mm -hmm. past weekend. And so congrats on that. Uh, Thank we you love so much. it. We're proud of you. Yeah. I want to pray so for much. you and then I'll tell you how we end. Can we do that? Yep. Uh, Jesus, thanks so much for Katie. Thanks mm -hmm. so much for uh, even her and her friend Michaela and what they meant to us as a family. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray you keep using her uh, as you put on her heart to take the gospel to the world through music. Mm -hmm. Lord, would you let it be so? Would you shine amazing favor? Would you keep shining favor on uh, her music, her and her heart for you, her relationship with Parker, mm -hmm. and God, that you would shine great, great favor and anointing on it. Thank you for her. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, Katie, Thank we always guys. end this way. We've got seven core values at Trinity, and they okay. all start with Together We. Yep. I love it. And so, you know me, I get the little coaching part in me every now and then. And I so love it. We yeah. put our hands in. On the count of three, yep. we go Together We. All right? One, Wait. two, three. Together, Together We. we.